Hello. I'm Dragon Louisa from Get Creative in Brighton and this is Emily. And I think her wicked plan has struck again and I turned into this strange horned dragon with a little tail. Right, Emily. Mm, might breathe my hot fiery breath off you, on you in a minute. No, no. Can, can you tell me what we're going to be doing for our third, oh no, our second item in the box? We are going to be making uh, the masks. The masks. So can you get your things out of your box? Yes. So remember, I think you might remember from the first video, these were the things that Emily called mouldy bread. Mouldy oh, bread. There's... Yep. Yeah. Can you get them out? Yeah. Yeah. Mouldy bread, or whatever colour you've got, you'll have different colours. Um, so uh, the, the moustache, mm -hmm. or the beard. Another tea for toes. Tea for toes. Another tea for toes. Oh, the toes are back. <laughs> Another two. Two teas. And then there's a hairy slug. Hairy slug. There should be another hairy slug as well. Hairy slug. Oh, she's lost her other hairy slug. Don't worry, I've got spares if you've lost it. I've oh no, she's found it. Hair. She's found it. And can we have the, the two... I think you call them two sewage pipes. Can you find those for me? Like we can all cherry sewage pipes. Okay, yeah, here we go. What right. are cool. So, this is for a Frankenstein mask or a Dracula mask. Yeah. So, what did you, did you want to do a Dracula mask? Yeah. Okay, so you might have this, a piece of paper like this, and you might have two shapes like this so There's only a, about i think they're just about four or five boxes which have got the uh franken um the dracula mask in so lucky lucky you so emily's going to do the dracula mask and a special she'll have this stranger uh, yeah. contraption here moustache there to go with that and you will need well, a couple right. of hairy slugs there you go oh, and that should be well. everything that you need for that one apart from a couple of a couple of these. Okay. Switch pipes. Right. So, here we go. Right. We are going to need for this, hopefully, we'll just mostly need glue, but you might need a little bit of sellotape as well. So, if I were you, I think we decided from the last video with this one, we were going to use scissors. Oh, my scissors are just. No, they haven't. Have we swapped scissors? I think we have. Yeah, I normally have the black ones. I've now got the black ones. You have. I've got the red ones. And I would suggest to get your sellotape ready before you begin. I think that's going to be my little suggestion. And when you get it, you just cut a bit off and you just stick it on the side of a piece of furniture. Not all the way down, just so it's hanging. So then it's easy to use once you get going. Okay? They are pretty good. Maybe it's are. just my bad day. Here you are. There's another piece, Emily. Go for that one. On the floor. Doesn't matter. Just quickly get those on the on the side there. That's it. Get that on the side. I wouldn't put it on the paint on that. Sorry. She's just putting it on the paint on something that I've painted and it will pull the paint off. So Oops. if you've got sellotape, don't put it on something that it's got a bit of paint on. Emily, it doesn't matter if you put it just a little bit hanging off the very side. Don't, don't make it stick down. Just yeah, you've got quite big bits there, haven't you? I should yeah, be careful with that one when you pull it off. Oh, was it all right? Lucky. You're lucky we've got the camera on, Emily. I wouldn't have been so happy about that, would I, otherwise? No, you right. don't. <laughs> okay, well, we'll put those there. So we're going to get started. Where's my hairy slug? Hang on, I don't know. Just keep Already. them all together, keep them all together. No, that's my one. Mm. You can't take my ones. I need them for mine. You, you dropped it on the floor a second ago, didn't you? Yeah, and um, my hairy slug. Okay. We're, so just try and be a bit more organised than we are, I think, would be a, a good thing to do. So first of all, you need what Emily calls the uh, mouldy bread. So you need that first of all, and, and you're going to get your glue, and you're going to stick down, this is the hair, okay? And the hair, just do this bit first, and then we'll, we'll look for something else. Okay, the hair's going to go down first. Now, if you've got the shiny paper like yours, Emily, it would be more tricky to stick down, actually. If and you've got the normal card, an adult, just so they can hold it on, that's your Yeah, an adult can always help you. If you do get a bit stuck, just ask. Sometimes they have these great things called um, sort of glue guns and things. Which hot glue. Hot glue guns are fantastic. So if ever you have real problems, just ask your grown-up and they will help you. So we stick down this like this and hopefully it will start to recognise what this might be. Is it stuck all right on there? 
Yeah, it's actually stuck in there, hasn't it? I'll just sit on it. Okay, so I don't know whether you know, but Frankenstein has very high forehead, a bit like Anton Deck. Oh. We like we, yeah, we like to watch um, Anton Deck, don't we? On the, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and we always laugh because they always laugh at themselves. They say they have high foreheads. So you've got a high forehead there, and then the idea of this mask is that you can actually still see your eyes underneath. All right. Yes. But you can't see your eyebrows. So the hairy slugs are going to be your eyebrows. eyebrows. So get the hairy slugs. Where the hairy and slugs? well, you've definitely got at least I've got one. one. I think you might have got one of mine, Emily, as well. I don't know what's going on here with our. Sorry, hairy slugs like to escape. Well, luckily sometimes. I've got a couple of um, spares. And what's, what's happened to them all? We had them a second ago. We had everything organised. It's disappeared. Right, so we've obviously got disappearing slugs. So I'm luckily I've got a spare one here. Do you need one more? There you go, you have that one. Now when you stick them down, stick them down very close. That's it, yeah, well a bit. Now the pointy bit will go up that way. So put that on the other side. Yeah. On your, um, if you look at an eyebrow, an eyebrow tends to have the bigger bit here and it starts to go a little bit more pointy towards the end, yeah? Obviously, Frankenstein's going to have quite bushy eyebrows, but they'll still be a little bit bigger one side. And you can angle them if you want to. I might angle mine up. Okay, are you all right with yours? Yeah, and the hairy bits will be on the top, not on the bottom. Doesn't matter. If you've done it that way, I mean, it's for okay. It's okay. Oh. Don't worry. I've just gone a little bit wrong with my one there. I put the glue on the wrong side of my one as well. So, it's this easily is done. mine so far. Doesn't matter. Mine has two different kind of eyebrows upside down <laughs> and that one's pointy one's all hairy so yeah but that's good because monsters are supposed to not supposed to look perfect are they found it oh <laughs> and now she's found it okay so we've got the uh, eyebrows going <laughs> on Ooh, nice no. lovely <laughs> and then i've got for my frankenstein i've got the t the letter t's or t i've got evil and you've got ears. Bob smackers. Now, when you put the ears on, you can try it with glue. If they don't work with glue, you can use the sellotape. But just make sure, have a look at the way the ears go. I'm going to just show everybody these ears. Okay, I'm just going to show. The ears go pointing upwards. And if anybody has ever watched um, Star Trek, they look a little bit like Dr. Spock's ears. You may not have watched it, but you, or you may have done. Your daddy likes Star Trek, doesn't he? I don't know what that is. It's the thing that he likes to watch on the, on his iPad all the time. Oh, that, that one, yes. Right, so I'm going to stick in my letter oh. T's down the sides. Sticking them in, like sticking them in. Yeah, you can sing a song if you want to, like this. Or you might want to um, look after your pe your grown up's ears by not singing a song. <laughs> <laughs> Think Halloween's having its effect on it, Emily. Right, here we go. I've stuck mine on either side here. Halloween is a time to get together and eat. And eat? To eat what? Food. Sweets mainly, I think. So you see like this, and they're sticking out like this. Okay. How are you getting on with your ears? It's a bit more tricky with the ears. I do realise that it's a bit more tricky. Okay. So once you've got that, you're then going to need... Actually, I'm going to draw something in mine. I'm going to draw some lines. I don't know whether you've ever noticed on some people's head. I've got like some. hers. Yeah, thank you. I've got some no. lines across my forehead. Oh, he's got ears. Up the, what's going on with his ears? Okay, so that's, that's fine. If, that, if that's how you want your ears, you can have I think it's on back to front. That's why. It's good. That's the white side. It doesn't matter. I quite like it because it's supposed to be a monster. It's fine. Upside down eyebrows and peculiar ears. It's all good. There's no mistakes. Only Now, what do we say? No, and no mistakes, just happy little accidents, we say, don't we? Okay, Emily's already got drawing in the, the lines. I'm going to draw in the lines too. There you go. I think that looks quite good when you draw the lines in. Right, there. So once you've got the lines in... Oh, mine is like the C. Yeah, it's great. It's lovely. And, uh, that's and then you get your two... Sewage pipes. Paper or sewage pipes, whatever you want to call them. I'd advise you to use sellotape. And sellotape definitely for this. This is the bit that's going to be going around your head. Now, I won't be able to put it on my head, really, because I've turned into a dragon, unfortunately. So, um, I'm just going to show you how to do it anyway. You get your sellotape that you should have prepared, like we did, and then you stick it like the pros on go. the back here. And you stick it low on the back. 
okay low down on the back like mine all right not like that one like mine all right and then on the other side the only the reason being emily is if you put them up higher they won't be able to go around your head and you won't be able to see because remember yeah, you won't be able to go around there. Oh, I've written them down low down. All right, okay. So, like a chicken mama. so you get them on like this. And I, I might try and put it around your head in a moment just to show. And then you fix it like this at the back. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So I've stuck one side down and the other side down along Can the bottom. Can I send more of the what you sticky want? things? Stick, some sellotape? Yeah. yeah, here's some sellotape there. There you go. So you have to measure your head. So when you stick it down, you have to stick this one. I'm just going to undo your one again because that's a classic mistake that you've just done. Here. Just look, Emily. Can you see you've done a classic mistake? You've stuck it that way instead of that way. Classic mistakes, yeah. mate. Uh, okay. Mistake. But it's good for you to make the mistakes because then everybody realises that they're not going to make mistakes. And I know when he has to mistake. make mistakes. Can you possibly take off your hat? It's special. I know it's special. There you go. But this is going to be special too. All right. Yeah. We're going to bring this round like this. Oh, can you hold it in place for me? And then, careful there. I'm going to lift it up. Oh, sorry. Just pulled your hair with it. And then I'm going to put a bit of sellotape and wrap the sellotape around. Sellotape. I would advise a little bit of grown-up assistance with that. Or if you've got an older sibling or something, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Looking lovely there, and I'm going to try. Yeah, my big mom. Yeah, I can't, unfortunately, do you know what? Mine won't fit my head because I'm a dragon. So I'm going to ask what? you to demonstrate this one as well for me, please. Oh, I need to use my teeth. Do you know what? I've got a piece here, ready and waiting. Try not to use your teeth on the cellar table. As she said last time. As I said last time. Can you take your can Dracula off? Just put it up. It should hopefully come off, and then I'm just going to. Right. So, as you can see, we're just testing heads. Yeah, yeah it's going to go around. Houses probably won't fit. It won't fit round here at the moment, not with, not with my dragon up, um, head on. There you go, right? There you go, just show. There you go. What do we think to this? Eh? <laughs> Super. Is it broken on the front? Yes. Oh, I pulled it. I shouldn't have pulled it. it was... Silly mums. There you go, it's fine. There you are. Very nice. So, Enjoy your mask, they'll be good for you to, to wear on Halloween. Okay, Emily, let's put these at the back here somewhere. Ah. Along with, uh, we've got a ghost puppet at the back. Hot. And now we've got Frankenstein and Dracula joining us ah. at the back as well. We're yes. a little bit cluttered here, aren't we? Yeah. Super, I think. Well, I think mine really. looks fabulous. I think it looks rather wonderful too. It's slightly unusual, one of a kind, as they say. So, oh, we need this. We need da, 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 our spider spell book. Spider spell book! That was beautiful. <laughs> um, we're going to see who we're going to do the shout outs to. So, we're going to shout out to... Tilly and Isabel. Hello. Hello. Caitlin. Isla and Dylan. William and Jacob. Hello, whoever you are. <laughs> Hannah. Hi, Hannah. And Dylan, another Dylan, and Emily. Hi everybody, I don't know who you are, but hi! Thank you very much for watching and I hope you made really good masks. We've got lots and lots more shout outs to do as well. In our next videos, we've got two more videos to do, mm. haven't we? Okay, so um, that for our next video, we're going to be making the basket. Okay, the basket's going to be the next one. But, um, oh, I wonder what I'm going to be next time because I've been, I've been an alien. Mm. I've been a dragon. Hocus, hmm. pocus, diddly docus, choo cha cha cha, cheshire cat -o. Cheshire cat! Oh, meow. That's from Alice in Wonderland. Meow. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little bit catty. Meow. Oh, don't forget to like, like and subscribe.